Hey everyone, Trey Mc here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show off the new Endpoint Status Dashboard found within Axiom Cyber 5.5. With the Endpoint Status Dashboard, examiners can now view status information for endpoints associated with a particular agent, including last known online time, agent destruct status, total acquired data from said endpoints, as well as current agent statuses. Connecting to any one of the online endpoints is accomplished conveniently using the new Endpoint Status table, further enabling investigators who deploy a particular cyber agent to multiple endpoints. So let's take a look at what this looks like within Axiom Cyber. As always, we're gonna start within Axiom Cyber process. I'm gonna go ahead into Evidence Sources. Next, we'll go into Remote Computer. And as you can see here, we have a number of agents that we've already created with Axiom Cyber, but for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and create a new agent. And for those of you who are, have been using Axiom Cyber to create and deploy agents and to collect from endpoints, you'll notice that the configuration of this agent now, the screen looks a little bit different. So we now have an agent ID that'll help associate agents with particular endpoints when we are looking at that case dashboard here in just a few minutes. One thing I wanna call attention to is if you select edit, you can now come into your preferences and select the agent default location, as well as if you want the agent to be removed from the endpoint after the acquisition completes. We have compression abilities, as well as the type of logical acquisition container that you want your evidence to be saved in. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave AFF4L selected and hit okay. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and select my operating system and we'll be deploying to a Windows endpoint today. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and as always, we can mask the details of this agent for the purposes of today's illustration, I'm gonna just actually append the name of the agent ID to the agent.exe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 618. Lastly, we need to decide whether or not we want that agent to survive a shutdown of that endpoint. I'm gonna leave that deselected. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my examiner workstation information so that the agent can call back to my version of Axiom Cyber after we've deployed it to the endpoint. Go ahead and specify the port. And then I'm gonna leave reconnect delay set by the default as well as the disconnected keep alive. We've also recently added the ability to automatically detect if the endpoint is using a proxy so that we can bypass that so that once again, you can deploy the agent and that agent can call home to your version of Axiom Cyber so that you can collect evidence from that endpoint. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit create agent. Now that we've created that agent, I'm gonna go ahead and hit deploy. Now I need to put in the information for the remote computer. So let me go ahead and enter that information in. and where I want that agent to be saved to that endpoint. We'll just put it at the root of the drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit deploy. And as you can see here, we've deployed the agent. We've launched the agent. It is now running on that endpoint. And I'm simply gonna hit connect to agent. Now that we've deployed that agent, we can see within the new agent dashboard that we have that remote computer, that it is online. We can see the IP information. As, you, as I mentioned earlier, we have that information handy as far as the agent ID, the operating system, and when that agent was initially created. So with this, I can go ahead and simply select this endpoint and hit connect to endpoint. Now that we're connected, you can see we can go ahead and start navigating and collecting files. So for this investigation, I'm gonna go ahead and simply select the MFT. And I'm gonna be doing this while we're downloading the file system structure and the metadata that's associated with this endpoint. And as you can see, I've actually already completed that so that we can now filter and search on that content within the file browser. I'm gonna simply select the MFT and for this investigation, the downloaded items and then simply select next. And as you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and download that information and move forward. Now that we've downloaded the information that we needed from this endpoint, I'm gonna simply select next. Once again, Axiom Cyber is gonna ask if we want to delete the agent. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and say keep agent on that endpoint. We're gonna archive the items, hash it, and then go ahead and add that evidence into our case file. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add evidence. I'm gonna actually navigate right back into a remote computer and show off some of the other agents that we've already created and deployed so that we can walk through that case agent dashboard. So once again, go into remote computer here. As I'm looking through, we've got several different agents and I'm gonna simply select one that I actually have already created and deployed with a Mac and say connect to agent. Come down, hit connect to agent one more time. And when I get here, you can see we have that agent deployed to multiple endpoints. And I can really now select which endpoint I want to actually connect to and acquire that data from. So for this investigation, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Mac that has the M1 chip. And at once again, seeing that status is online, we have the IP address, the last known online time, and when that agent set to destruct. Now from here, I'm just gonna select connect to endpoint. Now that we're connected to that endpoint, once again, I can navigate into the targeted locations. Maybe for this investigation, I want to acquire everything that's on that user's desktop as well as maybe the document and simply select next. 
Now that we've downloaded all the information that we wanted off this Mac, I can select next. I'll go ahead and say delete agent. Once again, we will go ahead and archive and hash the evidence, add evidence. Now we have created a new agent for the Windows endpoint. We have then used the agents dashboard to select one of the agents that we've deployed to multiple endpoints and went ahead and acquired from a new Mac running the M1 chip. From here, we'll go through the processing details as normal and get right into Axiom exam and finish out our case. We hope you really enjoy Axiom Cyber 5.5. Make sure you either upgrade from within the product or head over to the Resource Center and download the update today. We'll see you next time. Thanks.